Hey, what's going on guys? I'm coming at you with an IP autograph recap of John Stockton. Um, he's been doing a book tour for his autobiography, um, and he actually stopped in Utah for a couple of days for his book signing. Uh, he was here Friday, November 15th, and he did a book signing at um, a bookstore, um, which is called Desert Book, um, and then... Saturday, the next day, which was the 16th, he did a, a book signing at the Energy Solutions Arena, where the jazz play. Uh, so I was able to go Friday um, before the Spurs game, and I was able to get, um, I had some help. Um, my dad came with me, so we were able to get a couple of autographs there, and then I had to go by myself on Saturday, because, you know, if if you have an opportunity to get John Stockton, it's worth it because he hardly ever signs. It's at a, you know, if he does sign, it's a miracle. But um, I was able to get him to sign a couple of things. Um, so in order to get something signed by him, you had to buy his book. So um, I bought three books. Um, and I actually, and my dad bought another book. So I actually you know gave two books out to some John Stockton fans so um and it's cool that he actually signed the book also um usually when people do book signings they'll only sign the book they won't do any additional things so I was really shocked that you know John was going to sign an additional item also you know as long as you bought a book so um and uh there's a couple people on Saturday when I went by myself that didn't have an item additional and they just wanted the book so they got me some I was able to give them something and they got it signed for me so first off I was able to get an official basketball signed by him came out really nice um, I couldn't ask for anything better um, and he was signing a lot of stuff too so it was amazing that you know, he kept just signing and signing and signing, and, and then I was able to get him a, another basketball. Came out nice, also. And then um, I'm not sure if you guys saw this in my Spurs recap, but I am have been doing a point guard ball, and I was able to get him to sign it. And I'll just show you if you guys are curious. So John Stockton signed it. Uh, got Jason Kidd. He sure took up a lot of room. Uh, Steve Nash. And then I got Tony Parker. Darren Williams. He's been struggling recently with injuries. So hopefully he can bounce back. Um, Magic Johnson who in my opinion is the greatest point guard of all time. But people probably don't agree with that, but that's just my opinion. Uh, Walt Clyde Frazier. I like how he put Clyde on it. Um, got Chris Paul. Got Isaiah Thomas, who's also a great point guard. And then we got Allen Iverson. So I was really happy to get John Stockton on that ball. It's been tough. Um, when he's been here for his retirement ceremony and Carl Malone's retirement jersey ceremony, I haven't been able to get him. Um, so he's been he's been really, really, really tough. So if I was just really shocked that he was doing this ceremony, I mean this autograph signing. So I try to take advantage as possible. Um, and then I got him on a jersey. Came out really nice. This is a green one of the green jerseys. These are really expensive too. Uh, killed me, but you know what? I had I I was not gonna miss out on a Stockton autograph. And then I also got them on the jersey in the background. Came out really nice. Whoops! And there's a drop. Not really nice. 
Yep, so I was able to get three basketballs and two jerseys signed. So I was really happy to get that. Um, I kind of wish I wouldn't, I was, I kind of wish I would have got more, but it's better than not getting them at all. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks.